And good evening and hello. welcome to the Geek Show. Hello evening, everybody. Folks. Welcome everybody. Uh tonight we have a special guest all the way from Sunny. Where where are you connecting from, Paul? I am connecting from Langley and Albury in the West Lang Midlands. Langley and Albury, yet another awesome West Midlands person. So welcome everybody, welcome Paul uh to the Geek Show tonight. Tonight we're gonna do a special 
uh, all about collectibles, etc. So uh, starting off, uh, Paul, uh, we've been mates for years and years since we were both about 10. Yeah. But it feels just, like it. Since we went around shooting people a weekend for fun. Yeah, we were, we were, just to let everybody know, we were paintball marshals together. So I feel really sorry for the poor hapless victims we used to <laughs> use and abuse on the paintball field, but highly entertaining. So, Paul, how did you get into collecting figures, action well, figures and statues, etc.? Um, Why, why, way back. Influence from my dad, statues, uh, vinyl kits, sci-fi horror, uh, universal monsters, that sort of thing. And just feeding me all that stuff when I was a young lad, and it just grew and grew and grew, and I and I just keep going, keep going. But God knows how many years, too many years to remember. Way back. So, so, so that initial hobby as a kid suddenly over the years turned into a business. So, tell us a bit about the legendary Voodoo Zatic. Well, it all started off with like a little. Uh, Bit of a jolly of a weekend doing little stands at toy fairs and comic cons and buying and selling little bits moving stuff on that i didn't want anymore and just got more and more into it more addicted to it <laughs> like it being addicted to collecting it was addicting to like talking to other collectors and just geeking out not making a lot of money some shows maybe make a fiver you know <laughs> But it was like all part of the fun. And so, so, so when did when did you first start doing this? Uh, twenty seventeen, I think something like that. Twenty seventeen, oh maybe twenty sixteen. Just good. So mate. big shout, big shout out to Aaron who's online. Yeah, the awesome. uh, voodoo, the voodoo child, the voodoo child who's amazing. So here is your website. So we've got your website up. So first about first of all, whereabouts are you? Well. We're on a little place called Langley, just five minutes from Junction 2 of the M5, in a quaint place called Langley Village that's not so villagey, but it's a nice little place. But it's quite black country urban sort of area. And we're in a little shop there. And also you do Comic-Cons? Yeah, I do Comic-Cons, uh, Collectomania. Yet to do MCM because of... Uh, the financial implications for that do a lot of toy fairs uh the barry potter toy fair that's all over the country that's a more sort of collectible audience people come they know what they're looking for they want it right. the price is right they'll take it out your hands faster than you can say flint so, so, so a quick so a quick one whereabouts it where are these barry potter is he harry's brother by any chance yeah, i think he's probably <laughs> old enough to be but, but uh no it's quite a big popular event i only found out about it i was doing comic cons and then somebody says you need to do barry potter's toy fairs and they're up and down the country country they've been suspended obviously because of covid yeah but the first well the first one that's going live is at staffordshire showground oh, on wow. the uh, 8th of august a, a lot of them at one time it was um no disrespect to the other collectors, but it was a lot of trains, planes, and cars. A lot of old boys know what they're like. I, I used to set my stand up, and they never even used to look at my stand. They walk straight past. Yeah. But there's more and more of that sort of stand, our sort of collectible sci-fi comic book films right. coming, coming onto that scene, and they're getting more and more. And obviously, you've got like the vintage toys. Like you've got complete stands with Palatoy action men. Oh, God, you know, sort of thing. Probably the biggest ones is the NEC and Staffordshire, um, not Staffordshire, Sandown Park and Doncaster. They're, all, they're doing them all up and down the country normally. But oh, my God. Obviously, yeah. NEC being Birmingham's our favourite. Wow. Far. How many about how many visitors do they get there for that? Wow, well, I don't know. I really, off the top of my head, I know pre COVID, in one of the halls at the NEC, they get 500 stands in there. Oh my god! It was like, and our start, our stand start, started off at six foot trestle table, and it's now eighteen foot. Eighteen foot! Yeah. Oh my god! So uh, that is brilliant. So I posted up the uh, your website to your amazing shop, VoodooZatic dot uh, my Shopify. My Shopify dot com, yeah. Dot com. So I put that up there. So please check it out, guys. So uh, 
if you are online and watching guys everybody out there uh, please post up what you are collecting and what is hot and what you are looking for at the moment so have you got first of all before we go to the website paul is uh, i can see some stuff in the background have you got anything uh in your office that you'd like to show <laughs> or explain to us well um my office is actually the whole of my house oh okay <laughs> before we had the shop it was uh basically my house was like across between I like to call it cross between step step toes and sort of Derek Trotter's house and Santa's Grotto. Oh my god! With all my stock for my shows was in the house, piled up boxes and boxes. But obviously, a lot of it's down the shop now. A lot of stuff you, you'll see in the background is my personal collection. But uh, I have got some bits and pieces I can show you. Yeah, if you want to, what, what what have you got a show to start off with? Right, Marvel Legends. Um, Yes. A comic I love. I mean, you see it in my dodgy lighting. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Oh, my God. It's uh, cross between Ghost Rider and the Punisher. I I have seen that. That is how much are those going for? They're, they're, they're well, super rare, aren't they? Yeah. When I had it, it was, um, I got it £35, but I haven't checked it out since recently because obviously everything gets. Yeah, more uh, more valuable. It's not that old, but it's just I like the comic. So, and when I saw it, I thought I got to have it. Plus, I like the Punisher and Ghost Rider. So, I I uh, I haven't got them here. They're in my locker, but I do collect Marvel Legends. Legends, or used to. I've got the first eighty. The first eighty. First eighty Marvel Legends, all in pristine mint condition, with all that the, with the uh, bits and figures, the Apocalypse, and yeah, the Marvel. Apocalypse. The um, Galactus. Oh, wow. All that lot. That's a rare All one. of it. All of it. The Galactus uh, one's rare, man. Really rare. It is super, super. And the one thing, guys, with all these toys, everybody watching, uh, you know, people might go, oh, toys, whatever. Oh, my God. All the money. Everybody, because now, like, Marvel comics and films and DC stuff is so big, collectibles now, this is yeah, where yeah. the money is. This stuff is going crazy crazy yeah, prices definitely. Definitely. so it's, it's, it's literally a good investment a, a lot of this stuff now because they never go down in price they just go up and up and up so amazing i've got i've got something to show you paul go on let's have a so, look so one of one of the things i collect random mad stuff so i've got a load of marvel legend stuff uh but i've only got the first 80 and then i stopped <laughs> you got more than i have i'm jealous so, so that all in mint condition, as I said, from number one onwards. Uh, but I have started collecting, and I've got the lot of. There was a, a, a well, a TV cartoon called Battle of the Planets. Yep. If you remember that as a kid, yeah, it was a bit weird. Was. It was like it was like a Japanese film where they they dubbed it into English and then made their own stories. But these figures came out in two thousand and two. I have Mark, who was the one of the main dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zoltar, do you remember him? Yep, definitely. Like, one, of the, one of the world's worst bad guys, but he used to he used to be highly entertaining. Uh, uh, but I've got the whole set of these. Uh, Keop was the little weird kid who made all the yeah, things. Yeah. Not sure what he was <laughs> doing, but he was very, very good. The comics came out with um, was it Alex Ross did the comics, so so they are super collectible. Uh, and then we got Jason. Which was uh, Mark's buddy, but they were these. These ones are super rare. The Jason one, because these are season two and tiny. Yeah, that's super cool. They are. And these, uh, so I've got all the whole set now. For people out there who are thinking, oh, Battle of the Planets, you know, I remember it a bit as a kid. It was okay. These things are going are super hot at the moment. So. What actually happened is the Russo brothers, if you've seen um, Infinity War and Endgame, those amazing producers who made that film, they've actually, big fans of this as a kid, yeah, and they've yeah. actually bought the rights to it, and they are making their own Battle of the Planets films. Oh, you got a nice little uh, gold so, mine there then, mate. Definitely. So, guys, if anybody's out there, if you ever see any of these Battle of the Planets stuff sealed, uh, pick them up because these things are going to be Gold dust, gold dust. So uh, you go and see the, the merch that I bring out for the film won't be as good as what you've got. And then everybody will start collecting the new stuff, but then they want the original stuff. And it, it's it's you just can't get it, especially 
you just can't find. I, I, I went around all toy shops and comic cons and all that. Like always, little, always hunting for the Battle of the Planet stuff. Who's the manufacturer on those, Kev? Uh, the manufacturer is uh, uh, oh, Diamond Select Toys. Ah, oh, brilliant! So Diamond yeah, it's a lot, lot better than bleeding Hasbro. God. So, so Diamond Select uh, two thousand and two. Uh, and just to, just before we go back to you, I was chatting to my mate, uh, well, one of my friends who is a big Superman fan, and he's bought the massive. It's about four, three foot high uh, hush figure. Have you ever seen that one? Yeah, yeah. Holy hell! Oh my god! That's a cracking book. That is hush, Batman hush. But he's bought the figure, and the figure is literally from the floor. It's about. It's got to be. Yeah, flipping it. I don't know. Three, three feet, four foot. I don't claim to be a comic expert, but I think that's Jim Lee's artwork, and it, I just love it. Absolutely wow. love the stylizing of the Batman and all the characters in it. So to get a figure like that, wow! Because Jim it's, Lee, it's, Jim Lee's figures are really sellable as well. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, hi to Aaron. Hi to Sarah. Hi to Tony. Uh, we've got a load of people from America joining. So hello, everybody over there. Hello, uh, Scott and Dee. Uh, we've got a load of collectors out there. So, so Paul, over to you. So what, what else in your private collection at home? Right, this is going to be a... And then we get on to the shop. Another blast from the past. Yeah. One of my favourite films I can watch over and over again. Oh, wow. Major Chip Hazard. Yeah. More soldiers. And I've got Archer hiding somewhere as well, but he's obviously hiding from Chip Hazard, so <laughs> that's still mint in the box. Small soldiers, mint in the box. That's the thing nowadays. It's it's all mint in the box stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's one. That's one of my uh, little treasures from when Aaron was young. I bought one for him and one for me. Wow. So let's let's quickly have a little look at the shop. So uh, the. Uh, You've got some awesome stuff on here, by the way. Is it mainly statues or collectible uh, or action figures? There's action figures and statues, all collectible. I've got okay. like smaller pocket price, sort of pocket money price stuff, but I don't tend to put it on the sites. Yeah. It's normally for um, footfall customers, like young children and stuff like that, because a lot of people think, oh, it's, it's not a toy shop, it's not a collectible shop. They get a bit mixed up. And uh, I'm trying to give something for everybody's price range. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. So look at this one, Spider-Man Diamond Gallery Marvel. That is beautiful. Diamond Gallery, um, one of my favourite things to buy because as a collector, the quality, they're all PVC models, but for £50, £60, pound, the quality of them are fantastic. And I have got a lot of them in the shop because they sell, you know, and they, they, look, they look great for the money. They're not... A uh, sideshow piece by no means, but yeah, some of the mouldings on them are fantastic, really good. Are these all? Are these all diamond? Look at that Thor one. That, that Thor's diamond gallery. Uh, Harley Quinn on the bike. She's uh, DC collectibles. Gotham City Garage set. They did uh, Catwoman on a bike. <laughs> oh, and, wow. Um, who else was on the bike? There was three. I can't remember the other one. I think. It was Black Canary. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's, it's actually on the back of the box. But that Harlequin's huge. It's probably about 17 inches, the base. Is, there, uh, is, 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 is Marvel stuff more in vogue at the moment than DC? Or what I do think, you find him? Well, in, in, the, in the shop, it's I think it's more Marvel orientated. But I do sell a, a lot of different... DC and Marvel online. Yeah. And a lot of NECA stuff as well. Alien Predator, stuff like that. Oh, we so get we, 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 we get that we get to that in a minute. That's awesome. So a lot of Star Wars stuff, the Black Sea uh, Black Series. Yeah, Black Series stuff. Um I've got like Kenner uh twelve inch figures as well. Oh my god. Oh look at this. Mine's is. So so uh, out, so out there. What what's your favourite Marvel character at the moment? Well, first of all, what did you think of Winter Soldier, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier? By the way, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. It was a bit slow at the beginning, but it's just sort of uh, 
it got me hooked enough to watch it. Oh, I just wanted to see him in the suit because he's <laughs> done me a fi- that show's done me a favour anyway because it's got it's got those sold some statues of him in the new Captain America suit because that's another Diamond Gallery statue. There it is, there on the. Uh, oh my God! Look at there. that! It's a cracking statue that is. Oh my God! Fifty-five quid. Yeah, yeah. That's that's really good price. That's why it's sold out. I can't, <laughs> get, I can't get enough of them. All because of the Disney show. Wow. Yeah, uh, are, really are you going to get any more in? I should try my very best. I should try mm-hmm. my very best, but I like to get them in at the right money because if I, if I get one in, it's going to cost 100 quid. People ain't going to buy it. Yeah, totally. totally. You know, I like to keep my prices fair so people want to come and buy the stuff. You can, Definitely. Put, a, you can put an item on for 200 quid. But if people don't want to pay it, they don't want to pay it. Yeah. Then, uh, but look at the paint job on that. I must admit, I watched uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I I found it okay. I enjoyed I enjoyed when he turned into Captain America, so that was cool. But it, it did waffle on over six episodes. <laughs> I found. <laughs> it, I think if it was like two episodes or a film, if it was like a two-hour film, it would have been more dynamic. But because it was over like six hours or seven hours, it, it just for me it's just waffled on. I really enjoyed um, Zemo Zemo yeah. dancing. Definitely go out for a drink with Zemo because he, he's a party animal. He's awesome. Not too, not too many spoilers. Some people might no, know. Not, not, yeah, but I'm just saying he's awesome. And also <laughs> John Walker, whoever this guy is, I really enjoyed him. I'd like to see his own show because uh, I, I really I like, enjoyed that. I like uh, is it Sebastian Stan, the uh, Winter Soldier, Bucky. I like yeah. him as well. I think he's a good character. He's a, yeah, he's, they're, they're all really good actors. Uh, did you know, uh, not spoiling anything, but Carly, when you if you Google her, when you yeah. see that when you see it, she's actually an actress from the West Midlands. So, oh, yeah. fair, and she also played in Fest Nest, in Fest Nest, in Star Wars. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That so so well, well done, well done, you. It's nice to see a, a fellow Peaky Blinder yeah, yeah. doing well over there. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I, I recognised her from Solo straight away, but I didn't realise she was from the West Midlands. Yeah, she, I think she's from Tamworth or something, which is wow, brilliant. Which is all good. We'll take that in. So, uh, also, just looking down your your uh, on your catalog. So, guys, please check out uh, Voodoo's Attic uh, shop, which is amazing. Uh, keep coming back because, as Paul says, things come and go. Uh, so, there's always new things on there. Yeah. I can see at the top Aliens. Oh. That's coming out as a new TV show, isn't it? They've got um, Disney are going to turn it into a TV show. Really? Yes. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. This stuff is going. This stuff's going to be hot. This stuff is well. It's already hot, but oh my god! So, uh, what what is really cool in Alien stuff, then, Paul? Well, I've got to say that probably the coolest thing for me in what I've got is the uh, Aliens parallel, the Japanese import. It's rare as. And that's die cast 110 scale with a ripple in it. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah. It's die cast, yeah, it's die cast, it all moves and everything. And it's got the ripple figure in it. Bloody hell, and that's a Japanese import. I can't, I can't it might say on the text there how old it is. I can't remember how old it is now, but uh, that's a nice piece. Obviously, the, the uh, NECA uh, series is always good. Necker's all Necker always makes good quality. Yeah. Whether it's Alien Predator, Terminator, it's all good gear. It's really nice. In fact, oh. in, in fact, some of the Kenner stuff. Do you remember the um when they did the aliens, but like an alien ape and an alien all that lot? Grasshopper and stuff like that, when they did the cross things. No, no, no. That that Kenner one there, I've got a supplier who's Getting a load of Kenner mint in the box like that 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 series from the nineties. Oh my god, he's getting it in, and uh, I've saw he's got a signed figure of Ripley by Sigourney Weaver as well. Oh my, so, so, I could possibly get my hands on that, but you're probably talking big bucks. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, definitely. But they they did. I, I think they they released. There was like a, an alien. It's like a cartoon or something. And and there was like an alien crossed with a gorilla and a praying mantis. I've got I've actually got all those figures. I totally missed that. Yeah, they're really really cool. 
Really, really cool. Oh, you've got the alien big chap from Bandai. Yeah, that was a nice. But the same again with the uh, figure arts, the uh, monster figures and the uh, the Bandai stuff. Big books. They seem the Japanese stuff always seems to hold good money. Yeah, definitely. I was looking at a price at the the original nineteen seventies, like two foot high alien. Have you ever seen one of them? The original ones that they released for kids when the, the Alien film came out. And then... Uh, <laughs> released an actually, Alien figure for kids. They, they actually did... that. It was like a, a two-foot-high Alien thing, and you pressed a button at the back, and it's like mouth shot out. And they somebody thought this was must have been a good idea for kids, right? If you see <laughs> one of those in, in a sort of moderate to good condition... They're like about eight hundred quid. It's oh, ridiculous. Right. So yeah, so so definitely look out for that, guys. If you ever see one, they're about two... that for kids. I mean, for kids. It's, a, it's not a kids' film. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, so also, yeah, Alien Face. I got some amazing stuff on here. So, what is your favourite Alien thing? Uh, oh, you put me on the spot there. I think what I've got is the. Um, the power louder, to be honest. Yeah. But I do like the uh, the eight bit game one next to the one that's next to the uh, cuddly face hugger. <laughs> cuddly face. Just as a side note, uh, we have all gone mad playing the aliens board game. I don't know. I don't know if you've seen that at all. Oh, aliens, we... a glorious day in the core. Super. It's, it's absolute. It's you get. Uh, about, I don't know how many figures, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven figures and about 18 aliens. And it, and you reenact the Aliens film, the second one. It is awesome, mate. You've definitely got to check that out. What a class that, film, that is. That is. What a class film. Just amazing. Absolutely stunning. So uh, so that's all your alien stuff. Uh, aliens, as I said, is just coming out on. So Disney own it now because they bought Fox. Um, Justin. So, yeah, the TV show is a come in. Also, there's that uh, new computer game. Is it Alien Firehouse? Fire Storm? Fire Team? Fire Team? Well, I'm rubbish. I'm, console it's, games, I'm absolutely rubbish at. It's like a, well, it's like a PC what? A PC and console, but it's it's set in, like, Aliens, the second one. Yeah, so, yeah. again, all this stuff is really going to take off. So, Avengers, God, Blum, you've got what a what a shop. I love your shop, by the way. Thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, so Ca uh, Captain America, no spoilers, but well done, Sam. That's all I can say. Yeah. No, spo yeah. no, no spoilers. Uh, amazing stuff. So Iron Man, uh, oh, my, the Spider-Man's great as well. We love that war machine's nice on the end. Wow. That Iron, Stu Iron Studios, 110 scale. It's a cracking piece, that is. Oh my god! Look at look at the uh, the weathering and the the painting on that looks ridiculous, yeah. doesn't it? It's amazing. It's really good. I watched um, I watched some YouTube videos of when they've got the um, is it sideshow lot when they do when they paint some of their figures and they yeah, show you yeah, how yeah. they paint them. Absolutely crazy. So so what's in the bargain basement this week, Paul? Well, there's all sorts of stuff like anything from a fiver up to forty quid. Oh wow! Well, our class is a sort of bargain for what it is, you know. It's just, just... Thundercats is going to come back again because there's there's murmurs that there's something new going on in Thundercats, so that's interesting. Uh, I had a complete set of a uh, eighteen inch Mezco Thundercats. Did you? A while back, I sold them at one of the, a couple of years back. I sold them at Toy Fair, whole set. Oh blimey! So 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 that's coming back. Also, lovely to see uh, uh, Jerry Anderson's stuff. Thunderbird, Stingray, always s super popular. There's actual Jerry Anderson little section as well on the side. I've just seen that. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going. <laughs> so Batman again. So Batman is all. Oh wow! Look at that. Batman's look big. Always big. Batman is one of my favourite characters. At least. Always seems to have an abundance of Batman stuff in the attic. It's always popular. I think it's probably about it's the biggest collection on the page. I think it's about ten pages, eleven oh pages. Oh my god! I didn't realise there was more than one page. Wow. 
Yeah, there's quite a few pages on each side on each collection to be honest that cat woman's beautiful that bus yeah with the glasses half scale that is that's a cracking statue as well the um ben affleck one the dc collectibles it's quite uh, big which, which one's that it's next to the uh cow oh, oh that um, one yeah it's, it's really good for the money it's material wired cape as well it's really oh my i must admit i um I, I, I'm not really a DC fan, but I watched the Snyder Cut, and it blew me away. I, th I think it's as good as Endgame. I've had mixed uh, reactions to that, because I can't make my mind up whether I want to watch it or not. You've not seen it? No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. People it, it's, keep saying it's fantastic, and then other people say, oh, no, nah, don't waste your time. But it's each, each to their own, isn't it, really? But it, it is fantastic, mate, seriously. I'm not a DC fan. And uh, it blew me away. It, it really, it's it's stunningly done. Definitely uh, better than the first version, then. Yeah. I watched a bit of the first version on a plane to America when we were playing out and we were doing Wasteland Weekend, and it didn't really make any sense. And it was like, oh, it's okay. Yeah. But it's 10 times better. This, this new one is amazing. So comics and graphic novels as well. So you do all that. Yeah, all got a bit, just starting a little bit. Just... Uh... Uh, also, hopefully, we're going to stock our, our a few signed um, copies of the V2 A Wasteland Chronicles yeah, at your definitely. shop. Definitely. So, uh, with a few ex super extra special things there, so, guys. So, if you are around near Voodoo's Attic, look out for our new comic. So, that will be stocked there, which is super exciting. Captain Britain. Hooray! Uh, Captain Britain. Uh, they're on about, he might be coming to the MCU. They're on about um, old Henry Cavill. What, playing Captain Britain? Yeah. How cool oh. is that? Fantastic. Captain Britain and Moon Knight, two of my favourite. I love oh, Moon Knight. I, I can't wait for the Moon Knight TV uh, show. Have you seen uh, that in uh, Morbius as well with uh, Gerard Leto? Yeah. I, it, it looks really, really good, doesn't it? Yeah, I, it I, I'm good. not sure, sure when it's coming out. Also, Daredevil. Big shout out for Daredevil. Oh, did I click on something wrong? <laughs> Did I click on something wrong? I don't know what you've done there. I don't know what I've done there. I've done something. <laughs> Very uh, strange. Yeah, that's, that's that's me, that is. But Daredevil, I'm loving... Uh, well, he's being taken on back into the MCU, so that's awesome. Is it going to be Charlie Cox? Yeah, they, they've, uh, they've, they've, they've got Charlie Cox back. They were yeah. so impressed with him. Yeah, I love uh, that on Netflix. That, and look that's at... Fun. That and Punisher, it's fantastic. It was amazing. The uh, the fifty minute fight sequence of Daredevil in season three in one shot. Yeah, like Scooby Doo running in out the rooms. It was brilliant. In yeah. fact, I bought an amazing Daredevil collectible figure from Voodoo's Attic. Yeah, you did. Uh, which has got pride of place in the studio because, I, I, as I said, I, as well as. Everything else I like. I'm a big Daredevil fan, so that was amazing. Also, I've got a load of Captain Star Scarlet stuff. So, how is the Thunderbird stuff going? Thunderbirds and yeah, it's going, it's going all right. Yeah, um, it's always popular with the older generation. So I think a lot of kids don't get it. I don't know, it's, but uh, if you click on the next page, there should be some interesting stuff. Those are my babies. Oh my god, those are. I, I have got, <coughs> I have actually got, thank you to uh, to Tony, I've got a UFO Shadow Mobile Metal, uh, one of them things, and I've got the UFO, and I've got uh, the um, the Eagle. Yeah, yeah. As well, so, but amazing. You can't you can't go wrong with that, especially in the package. These I've never things... been out of the box. That, that UFO Shadow Mobile is 199 on somebody selling on ebay at the minute or trying to sell easily easily the, these things are super super rare especially in the box that's crazy yeah i do like i do like those my pride of my jerry anderson collection those are how do you say how can you sell stuff I, I i would i'm a bit of a hoarder so i, I i'd be excited on getting it but then i wouldn't Mate, want to sell hard. it it's hard it's really hard <laughs> I have to like just like have a word myself some days. <laughs> do you? So you're trying to you're trying to build a business, or you're just gonna do do it for a laugh, like yeah. It's, it's hard, it really is. So uh, amazing. So also, uh, G 
Ghostbusters, that's going to be cool when the new film comes out as well. So, what's hot in Ghostbusters? Oh, well, Ecto One's nice. Diecast One Eighteen Scale Ecto One. Oh blimey, that's nice. Is it so? So, uh, what's sort of hot at the moment? You know, what sort of comes in and goes straight back out the door? What? What a uh, um, the big thing apart from Cara Dune. If you've got the Mandalorian, as we were talking about that before the show started. So yeah, yeah. if you ever see it, her figure, guys, uh, she was in the Mandalorian. It's um uh, I can't remember her name, the lady from the UFC. Yeah, I uh, can't remember her name either. But she had a bit of a run in with Disney, sort of left, <laughs> and they withdrew and uh, took down some of her the action figures. So these things are going for stupid money. I've seen some for like four or five hundred quid on eBay. Uh, so if you do walk around and you see any of these Cara Dune things uh, from the Mandalorian, throw the other ones away, but go for, <laughs> go yeah, for yeah. that. I saw one 50 quid the other week online, and I didn't pick it up, and it's oh, a bit God. of a mistake. God. How's the Black Series uh, for Star Wars? How's that going? It goes all right. It's, it's, um, the thing is, the Black Series, it's a bit up and down because – it's so expensive when it comes out and then you you're like 25 pound a pop or whatever. And then you like, next thing you know, Disney's like clearing their stock out. Gina Carrera. Thank you. Son. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So her figures are uh, just going through the roof at the moment. So if you do, if you do while you're wandering around looking for toys, guys, if, if anybody sees any of them, you grab them. Yeah, buy as many as it's on the shelf if they're like <laughs> just a ten, ten, or, ten or a piece, just grab them. <laughs> yeah, so, I'll, and I'll give you twenty quid each for them. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, uh, so we've got Star Wars RoboCop. You got, you've got everything in it. McFarlane, the McFarlane stuff is amazing. Uh, I just have to click on the Judge Dread because being both uh, Judge Dread yeah. fans, it's it's mainly graphic novels. To, wow, yeah, from the collection. Judge Dread stuff, as you know, it's rare as hell. And when I've got it in, it's gone. I've yeah. had stuff in. I'm getting a, you know, the 3A 112 Dread on the white card. Yes. Getting one of those in with Carl's signature on. Oh, my God. That's coming in soon. And uh, a Funko Pop. He signed Did as well. Mr. Urban signed that. Did it? Wow. That's coming Did in. Do you sell many Funko Pops or, or not? I don't as a rule because uh, obviously you go to Asda and all the other supermarkets. <laughs> and, they're all and they're all there. I know the rare ones are not there, but the first thing people do, if you've got a rare one, they come in, oh, you can get that from so-and-so for a tenner. And it's like, yeah. what's the point? Yeah, totally. I must admit, I, I'm not really a fan of Funko Pops. First of all, just uh, just clicking on He-Man. I love your shop, by the way. This is this is <laughs> this is like Christmas. This is amazing. So uh, I am a big He-Man fan, um, but I collect the twenty the the, the two hundred X series. If you if you know which ones they are, so they weren't yeah. the original ones. They came in like they came out in about two thousand. Um, I had some Super Seven. Uh, oh series. my god! Yeah. And as soon as I put that was a while back on the when we was doing the shows, you put them on the stand and people just run at you. The Super 7, all that stuff, super collectible. I yep. nearly, last week, uh, there's, uh, do you remember there was a, a Marvel comic called Shogun Warriors? Yeah, yeah. I'm a big, a big fan of that as well. Uh, but they released last week, last on um, Friday, I think it was Friday, they, or, or Thursday, they released a Shogun Warrior. They, they released, you know, they, they used to have these massive toys, these two-foot-high toys. Yeah. Like a robot thing that like shooted the arms flew off and stuff. They released a skeletal one. No. Wow. <laughs> and I and I was like, oh, shall I buy that? And I clicked on it, it was 300 quid. And I was like, Ugh. and I didn't. I was good. I was good. What, I didn't. I've got in my uh my own collection. I can't get to them at the minute. So I could I could have showed you. Talking about Marvel. You remember when Marvel did all the horror comics? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dracula and Werewolf by Night and Frankenstein. I've got like a six-inch figure set still mint in the box of the, all the all the horror Marvel characters. Oh, my God. I've never even seen that. Yeah, and I've got one, uh, Hell's Kitchen. 
and it's uh, Punisher, Daredevil. Um, I think it's Blade, and it's got um, Electra in a white uniform as well. That's still mint in the box. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, a couple of my little treasures. Oh, uh, just have to click on Hellboy. Sorry about that, but I just it's one of those things I just yeah, have to do. That's another thing. There's, there's not much in Hellboy. As soon as you get it, it's gone. Wow. That, that's a rare piece there, that is. And also, that's a stunning product. 100 quid for that is that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's that's cheap. That is really cheap. I've got um the Mezco, you know, the 18-inch they did. Yeah. I've got one here if you want to have a look at it. Oh, yes, please. I've got the the one with the horns and one without. My lighting ain't great in here to show it off, to be honest. We can, can't really see a lot, but we'll take your word for it. <laughs> you might just see the horns. Yeah, just see the horns, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's like a uh, mock leather coat. It's got the rosary beads on it and everything, all the ripped shirts. Oh, my it's gosh. Things. I need to get some proper lighting for this job. Yeah, definitely. Um, in fact, the um, we had um, Wormwick Creations on, who are from Worcester or just down the road, and they actually made uh, some of the armor for. They did Hellboy, the new Hellboy. They did Sabrina. How cool was? Yeah. Do you, have you ever watched Sabrina? By the way, the chilling uh, adventures of Sabrina. What the new the new uh, series? Yeah, on Netflix. Yeah. I ain't got round to it. There's tons of stuff I ain't watched. Seriously, mate, it's awesome. Give it a go. It is amazing. They made all the armor and stuff out of that uh, for that show. Really. Of, sorry to interrupt you. I know a lot of people didn't like the new Hellboy, but I enjoyed it. I thought I, it was all right. I didn't like it. <laughs> I, I, like, I like the guy. I can't remember his name. The guy who plays the sheriff. Yeah. Stranger things. I thought he played Hellboy all right. I was uh, I like the, the gnarly way he played him, like you know, yeah. face, face down on the bar. Yeah, I thought I thought he was good, and I thought Hellboy looked good. It's just the story compared to the other Hellboys with old Ron Perlman. Yeah, in, yeah. which is, is you know when you've got Abe and, and all that lot. I just wanted more of that. It was that good. I like the fight with the uh, with the uh, giants. Oh, that the episode. yeah, that was good. It was good, but it just it just wasn't as good as the original original. No, it, was, I don't Ian McShane as the professor, as his dad was pants. It was like God, God bless John Hurt. Like he was fantastic, definitely. So, uh, oh my God, you've got Spawn stuff. You've got uh, Firefly. You've got everything, mate. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Does that stuff? Is that still really hot? Because oh, I know that was. That's crazy. It's crazy. The but, prices but, of some of that stuff is ridiculous now, isn't it? Turtles is so popular. I mean, I get like loose figures in, like five pound or you know, three or four for a ten or whatever. Depends on how much I pay for them. And kids just love turtles still. It's just mad. It's not just the adults. It's the new generation just love the turtles. Oh, that's good. That's, is there, they must have some like is there probably a new cartoon or TV or something like that or Comic. I don't know what it is, but it's just like it's a lot of the old school stuff that we th we had as kids, a lot of things we think it's old now. The youngsters still love it. It's just like mad. Absolutely love it. Turtles and Marvel. Oh, Scott, oh, our great friend from America, he picked up a, a Mezco Abe Sapien in the past. The, uh, the small one, like the 18, uh, the 18 inch or something like that in the, in the bubble. I've got one of them upstairs. Yeah, if you can let us know, Scott, which one you picked up. In fact, we have to get Scott on sometime. So, Scott, I've seen some of his collection, some photos, and there's a lot. Also, uh, Steve Schultz, our mate from Australia, who does all the tattooing. He's got his own tattoo studio. He's got a massive collection of toys and collectibles. So, uh, so again, guys, all this stuff is just goes up in price. This is... This, you know, it's some crazy yeah. prices now. So this is this is what a lot of people you've got a lot of people now investing in a lot of this stuff. If they see pal stuff, palatoy action man from when I was a kid. Um, yeah, Aaron, Aaron, my son actually lives around the corner from where the palatoy factory used to be. Oh God, blind! Where, where they made the uh, Kenner Star Wars gear as well for the British market and uh, palatoy. I think. 
probably about 30 to 50 quid just for a naked action man from the 60s and 70s with no uniform on. I, and it, I had loads of it. Much yeah. than what mine now. I sold it all mint in boxes. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just, just looking at the Wolverine stuff again. Awesome Wolverine and Deadpool. Yeah, that um, that cooking, uh, the, cooking the, egg, the cooking Deadpool's cool. He comes with a chef's hat. He try to switch his hands out. He's got like a his left hand. He's got like a food platter, like the crime food food platters. Yeah. When you lift it up, there's an head underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Really is good. Oh my god, these are amazing. That cable's nice as well. Cartier yeah. Fine arts collection. You've got his eye lights up. That's huge. That is really big. So, so this Wolverine uh, classic collectors figure set. I've got. I bought the um, Daredevil one from you. I've yeah, never yeah. seen these things anywhere else. Yeah, there, I got a Thor one as well. There's a there was a Spider Man one and um, a Captain America one as well. When when did but, these things come out? Because I I've never seen them before. I've only ever seen them in your shop. I don't think they're that old. To be honest, no, right. they're, they're meant to look old. Well, you know, they're not mega mega old. All oh, right. No, I'm very impressed actually. You get a lot in it. You you sort of get you get the 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 main action figure, uh, replacement heads, uh, different outfit, uh, you know, different uh, hands and stuff like that. It's yeah. there's a lot there's a lot in a box actually. Yeah, and they got the uh, gold collector seal on the edge as well with the numbered. Yeah, yeah, I was I was really impressed. The Daredevil ones, Ace, because he's got the red suit. And he's got the yellow one. What I like about the Thor one, you get the uh, you get Doctor Blake's. Oh, let's uh, have a look. Is it is he on here? Yeah, yeah. He's white. He's like hospital whites. You get that in it as well. There you've just gone up back up. Oh god, yeah. You get like his because that's what a lot of people who, who know the MCU don't realise how Thor originated. Yeah. He actually transcended down into sort of possess Dr. Blake, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, banged, definitely. He banged his walking stick and then <laughs> a flash of lightning and changed into Thor, which I thought was really cool. Better than they, they did it in the films. Definitely. And also, 35 quid, for, for technically, you get like three action figures. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's barking mad. That yeah, is, really cool. Yeah, I might have to get a few more of them. I really, I really like those. Um, do you ever get in the Warriors uh, Mezco stuff? I haven't had any yet, but... It just it just happens to be what I come come across like yeah because I, I like to pick a lot of my stuff up either pre-owned or you know sort of vintage sort of stuff. Wow, Robocop as well. So so uh, what is uh, if you're online, guys? Please post up what you are collecting. What are you looking at, and what what are you after? What kind of stuff is um is how Star Wars going at the moment? Is it mainly Mandalorian? It has been, yeah, Mandalorian. Um, but Star Wars, I, th I think it's a shame because I think Asbro and Disney have flooded the market that much with Star Wars stuff with all the new films. Yeah. And I think it sort of takes the collectability off it a little bit, I think. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. No, I think, I think, I think you're right. Also, I didn't really like the last three films, to be fair. No, 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 I no, just, didn't. I just didn't. <laughs> which I, which I tell everybody, in any, uh, any opportunity, I just didn't think there was any like standout characters that you know, like Darth Vader, and you got you know At At Walk, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and this lot, there was just like nothing you want is like a little figure stuck on your desk. I've got two At Ats, but they're not on the size. I've, I posted them on the Facebook page like they're trying to go for a walk at the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had some vintage vehicles. I mean, that's nice. That uh, oh, oh yeah, and two. It's got the, the droid and the pilot in wedge. Oh my god! I've had a uh, nineteen seventy nine Kenner Millennium Falcon. But as soon as they come in, you get the Star Wars collectors get to sniff them round and they grab them. Yeah. How much are they sort of going for at the moment? Those things, or, or also the attack walkers? You know, the the big. Uh, Depend on the scale because they did different ones. Yeah, about forty to seventy pound loose. But the, the big one, they've both got sound effects. The big one I've got is um, it's got pilot in it. It's got a, a biker scout with a bike in the back, a speeder bike, and they've all got sound effects. Different doors open when you press oh, the button. Right. On the back, you press the button on the back of the uh, at at, 
and the door opens and the, there's a like a, a platform comes out with the speeder bike on it's like really cool oh my god is yeah. that one for sale are those for sale or are yeah, those for yeah. personal collection no they're in the shop for sale it's yeah like having a little robotic dog around you <laughs> it's quite big to be honest Oh my god, you've got so much stuff. So so how do you um, when you do your your festivals and your your conventions, you must how long does it take you to get all that stuff? You know, well to pack um, and unpack, it must be. It used to take me um before I had the shop, it used to take me like a day sorting out what I was gonna take in the house to the to the shows. So it was all day Saturday. And then load up early morning in the van, off to the NEC or wherever, unload, uh, set up maybe three hours, and then a seven, eight hour, actually when the customers are coming around, and then another two or three hours to strip down, and then yeah. get back home on a Sunday night and put it all away again. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's uh, good. I mean, I, I did the Collectomania. A couple of years back, and that's three days in the NEC. Yeah, and it took me six hours to set the stand up. Six hours. Yeah, luckily you could drive your van in more or less into where the stands was. Yeah. So you know you didn't have to come across a car park on the NEC or anything, all your gear. So, but it took me. That was a two-day show. It took me six hours to set up. Oh my god! So 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 uh, I'm just looking at uh, some of the Star Wars stuff. You've got a load of signed stuff. Yeah, was yeah. It, was this a passion? Did you suddenly? Were you uh, this is through a friend who's got um, a charity. He oh, wow. up and he, he gets the signatures from Comic Cons he organises, and the, the money, part of the money goes to uh, the charity. It's an animal charity, and he refunds the money out to different charities. Oh wow, that's awesome idea! It's a, it's a bit like what we do with the. The uh, the Mega dogs City trust. One Canaan Canine yeah, Division, yeah. where we just raise money for the Dogs Trust. Yeah, yeah, which is awesome. God, you've got some amazing stuff on here. <laughs> it really is. I'm really impressed. As people can see, as I'm clicking through, in like going, oh, oh, yeah, another oh, wow. tie fighter. Yeah, the 30th uh, anniversary Elite Tie Interceptor. Yeah, with the red stripe on. God, blimey. So was was a lot of this initially your own personal collection? Because you must have just not eaten for 20 years <laughs> and just, just bought figures. Um, a lot of these, and a lot of these I've, I've gathered up, like, on yeah. my merry way, sort of, like, to resell and whatever and build, try and build the business as it, as it is to, like, keep going. Yeah, well, I think, as I said, you've got... When you're at Comic Cons and festivals and even your shop, it's so, it's got such amazing stuff in it that it, everybody gravitates towards it because it, it is, it, you know, you see these other ones with like a few Funko Pops and stuff. It's like yeah, the, same, yeah. the same dribble as everybody else. And then we get to yours and there's just killer stuff all over it. Yeah, that's what the, uh, the big, Collectibles comic shop we all know and not so much love. <laughs> I'm not gonna name it. You go in, I've been in one of those and, and uh the first floor was just full of Funko Pops and I was like, this ain't a collectible shop. Oh, is that the one in Birmingham by any chance? It was the Wolverhampton one. Oh, uh, the Wolverhampton one that we can't yeah. name for legal yeah. reasons. Yeah. Yeah, but uh it was upstairs was a bit more mark up the tea, but I just walked in, it's like Funko have got a lot to answer for. Just flood the market with all of these pops, and people just get mad for them. And then they 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 realise they can't stop, or they can't get everyone they want, and then move them on. Yeah, so, I, I don't I, I don't really like them. So like for, for like we're looking at Thanos now. See, I like this because it actually looks like Thanos, not like yeah. a square head thing, which is sort of purple. That's another one of those diamond gallery statues. They're really good. I've never heard of these. Are these uh, where are these guys come from? It's, I think America. It's, you know the diamond select stuff. No, oh, yeah, yeah. As in diamond yeah. distribution yeah, yeah. and all yeah, that. Yeah, stuff. it's their, it's their, it's their foot, sort of uh, statues. Bloody hell! Every, and also, fifty quid is a killer price. I mean, they they do a premium collection as well because I've got a 
brothers in arms, civil war, and it's Captain America fighting uh, Iron Man, and that's resin, and that that was the original retail on that. That was two hundred each. I mean, it's a big piece. You Is that on together. here? You, no, it's in my collection. All oh, right. <laughs> you put them together. You put them yeah. together. They're probably worth a lot more than four hundred pound now. Oh my god! They did some premium stuff. Yeah, but but fifty quid for that statue. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That didn't last long. Oh, that sold out as well. Bugger. Unfortunately. <laughs> Bugger. I'll, I'll leave stuff on to see, show people the sort of stuff I can get. Yeah, that you can get in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it, a lot of my stuff is is a, a one time shot. So if it comes in, you want to grab it. So you know. Do, do might... you do do you do like a mailing list or anything like that, or just just you recommend people just keep going back to your shop every yeah. day? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't got that uh, technically savvy yet to start doing the subscribing thing. There is a subscribing option on the website, but I need to figure out how to do it because I'm old and I don't the tech. <laughs> well, what we do, uh, as I said, the Geek Show is every Wednesday, and we alternate it with comics, collectibles, uh, and board games. So we have to get you on regularly. Yeah, man. yeah, get you on every couple of weeks or so. You can give us a latest of what's hot, what's cool. What's coming up? Uh, I must admit, uh, I think Mezco have just released a new. Uh, there's like a set of five warriors. Have you seen that? That yeah, yeah. there's three warriors and two baseball furies. I'm a bit yeah. of a, a warriors fan actually. So they certainly know what to make. Those will sell. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. So um, big shout out to uh, our mate in France, Melvin, because he created which I haven't got downstairs, but he did a Warriors um, sticker collecting book. So it's oh, a yeah. book of the Warriors film with all the different um, gangs in there, and you get 160 stickers in the set. So it's oh, like the old days when you're a little kid, yeah, you just yeah. stick them all in your sticker yeah, book. Yeah. It's brilliant. I am absolutely in awe. It came over the weekend. He's only made a few of them, and it's awesome. So I'm really impressed. So you've just reminded me of something. I had a first Superman movie with Christopher Reeve. Yeah, they did cards. It wasn't stickers. I was like, what bubblegum cards for want of a better word? Yeah. And I've got a, a scrapbook, and I put them all in. I've got every one of them. Bloody! I bet they're worth an absolute fortune. Most of this well, stuff is just not. crazy figures nowadays. I have got some. Um, some spawn stuff as well. I'm losing my voice. I think I need to have a drink. Yeah, yeah, you have a drink. I think we're just excited. I'm excited on your website, so I've clicked through most of the pages here. Uh, Sp spawn, yeah. In yeah. fact, there's a new, <clears throat> isn't there supposed to be a new spawn coming out? Yeah, I keep hearing rumours there's going to be some some happening. It's get, From what I read, it was going to be like, you're not going to see him a lot. It's going to be like suggestion. Oh, right. more, of a hor more of a horror. Yeah. Rather than... A, anti-hero superhero movie sort of thing you'll be like you'll pounce like a bit like batman you know comes out the shadows and stuff wow i've got a spawn figure here if my fantastic lighting i'll show yeah it, let's, show it. Let, let's give it a go this is one of my favorite <laughs> spawn figures unfortunately well not unfortunately because it's still mint in the box but i don't think it'll do a lot for the lighting it's 12 inch spawn. Do you want uh, to see that? Oh, yeah, we can sort of see it. Wow. Yeah, that's. Oh, uh, my God. That's one of my babies. That's yeah. That Is that <laughs> one of the ones that you just would never sell? Nah. I think my son might inherit this one, I think. Yeah. That's really cool. It, this this picture doesn't do it justice. It's just. I think they've recently done a cover. McFarlane's done a spawn cover with him on the front. Wow. He's like proper like cowboy looking. He's got yeah. Six shooters on each hip like. It's really cool. We have to, uh, if you are around, guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, Facebook. We're on Facebook as well. We've got Geek Show. Uh, we've got our own Facebook group. So there'll be photos and pictures on there and links to everything. The Wolfman. Oh, wow. Bloody That's hell. Another one of my favorites. Yeah. I think, if I remember right, is the. Black and white version. You can't uh, see it. You can't see it at all, but we will post up pictures of that on the Geek Show uh, Facebook group. 
Wow. Yeah. I, what is your what's your your prize possession? I think for me, I've got <laughs> I've got Galactus. I've got the really big 12-inch Galactus, you know, when he's on like that pneumatic drill thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's worth quite a bit. And I, that's my my pride and joy at the moment, my Galactus. Um, I, not talking figures, I'm talking statues. I've got um, a quarter-scale sideshow, Mike Manola, Hellboy. Wow, that's uh, I can't show you because it's behind me in the cabinet. Yeah, um, but I have got. I think you know what I've got. That's my prior possession. One eight scale, pop culture shock, Judge Dread. Wow, the Judge Dread stuff is just stunning. Uh, that's a, that's twenty eight inches tall. That is. Oh my god! It, it comes with the poncho. Yeah, the red poncho, and it comes with two switch heads. Oh my God! So, so a quick question we've had from uh, from uh, one of the viewers: uh, Your behind you, your cabinet. Uh, any tips on displaying your figures? Because you've got, actually got lights in there. Is that that's pretty yeah. cool? Yeah, I've got the same lights in the shop. They're um, LED stick-on strip lights, and they're like fifteen quid for five meter roll off Amazon. Oh wow! So what? Just go, what go to like? Um, where did you get your cabinets from? Are your cabinets sort of uh... the uh, the IKEA ones? No way. Seems to use the the other ones from IKEA, but I uh, I I source mine second hand because yeah, I'd rather spend the money on something that's going to go in the cabinet than the cabinet. <laughs> but I get them. I look, I look around Facebook Marketplace for twenty quid, and, that, and half the time they're already built as well. So yeah. saves you the asshole. You just pick them up. So, so, the so with, the, with the strip, so so you've got like the one strip that goes all the way through the cabinet. Yeah, what you do, you can get a uh, connectors. Oh and, right. And there's a, a cutting line on on the whole roll. It comes in like a, a spool. Yeah. And you can cut it and then get connector with a wire on and connect it from one cabinet cabinet to the other. Oh god, blimey! And you, you can do a uh, five meters. You can probably do about two cabinets. Yeah, because I can see the ones behind you. It looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you do collect figures, there's nothing better than sticking them in a cabinet to keep the dust off. Yeah. And also just uh, just to show them off at night. Well, I set the shop up pretty quick. I mean, it was a, a week. I set the shop up from when I when I saw, saw the landlord, and I'd got the cabinets. I took the cabinets out of my house because I've got about ten of these, ten or twelve of these cabinets. <laughs> I, was like, I just take my, I took my own stuff out. So we we need him for the shop. Get yeah. the shop in. Took him down, put him in, and then I went. That looks rubbish because there's no lights in. So straight on Amazon, ordered the lights, and it looks so much better. It just makes them all stand out. All, I do all my photographing in one of the cabinet uh, shelves, and it's, the lights are already there. That is yeah. it is amazing because. Your house before you had it's good that you've got the shop because your house was the shop anyway, wasn't it? You know, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. <laughs> ran full. Just ran full. Uh, you also do, uh, let me just show for people out there, uh, you do army stuff, these uh, army collectibles. Yeah, the dragon. The Those dragon stuff, cool. yeah, they're really, they're Those super. Are inside, chef. I did have a dragon uh, stormtrooper, German World War II stormtrooper. No way. But a guy, a guy bought it the other day. Actually, he, um, the camouflage that was in the in the set, it was the same camouflage he uses for airsoft. Yeah, and that's the way he bought it. <laughs> All right, fair enough. But look at look at the quality. These things I've seen these before. Yeah. The quality is amazing. Of these, they're quite they? old. Though. You got the Confederate and the uh, the Yankee log, the two of them. So, uh, what is your next? Uh, well, first of all, uh, what times are your shop open? So we got the website which we posted here that yeah, people yeah. can go and check out every day because new stuff is coming and going. Uh, also, uh, what about if they want to if they are in the UK area and want to pop in? When well, are you open? I'm open um, nine to five Monday to Saturday, and uh, I'm a bit sort of flexible with that because if somebody was saying, "Oh, I can't get there till six o'clock," I'll wait round because I'm only five minutes from the shop anyway where I live. Uh, within reason, Sundays I'll do um, 
if somebody definitely wants to come down and purchase something, I'll do an appointment only. You come in, I can come and open up, unless I'm at a show. Yeah. You know, but, um, I'm pretty much open all the while. Awesome. When, when, what is your next show? It's uh, the first, fingers crossed, the first actual uh, Barry Potter show since lockdown started and the, the pandemic started. It's the 8th of August at Staffordshire Showground. I booked it in today. Wow. I saw on the page it was a go. So hopefully that will keep going and we'll be all right. And uh, we'll get NEC, which is the big boy for, for us. Yeah. Big boy at the NEC. And that's, believe it or not, he's on the 27th of December every year. First time somebody told me, I was like, have you had a bang on the head? What, Christmas week, people go out shopping for collectibles. And then yeah. we and I was gobsmacked. It's rammed and people are just throwing money at you. Wow. It's like they want to, they want to spend the Christmas money and get away from the wives or something. Like oh, something. Yeah. It's, just, it's just rammed. It's mad. Oh, my God. So, so uh, also, just as an interesting fact, uh, we've, we are talking to a company um, because of the graphic novel, uh, which is coming out very, very soon. It's at the printers uh, for some collectible statues. How cool oh, is that? Wow. I, knew got... say, I knew you were going to say a statue or action figure. Oh, oh, hopefully, hopefully sort of both, but the statues are the first thing coming and they are awesome. They're going to be super limited edition and they'll probably only be available from us and you, and that'll be it. What scale are they going to be? Uh 12 inch, is that yeah, 12? about 12 inch. Yeah, so one, I have to one, go by one six YouTube. scale. Yeah, one six. Scale. Look what, at you what, with what look, at, sort of scale. look at yeah, look at you with your details. Yeah, so about uh, yeah, 12 inches. <laughs> Super excited. Uh, exactly. so, so we are just playing with that at the moment. Amazing. So we are nearly at the end of the show. Uh, Paul, we'd love you on back in a few weeks' time if that's okay, sir. Yeah, I'll be here. And uh, maybe uh, we, we show some other stuff. We get some better lighting. Yeah. Uh, we, can go, we can go through some other collectors. Maybe we get some other. If you are a collector out there, guys, send in your photos. And please join the Facebook group uh, called Geek Show and also the YouTube channel because we're going to be having a lot of extra stuff on there. So, and that's all free to join. Just uh, just just click on there, subscribe, and we're going to have loads of uh, live streams and everything else coming up because that's hopefully so. at, at some point we'll be allowed out which would be yeah. cool. Uh, and also, uh, when we are out, uh, laid out and around, I'll pop down to uh, Voodoo's Attic with a camera and we do we do a stream from down there and uh, have a little look around the shop and, and then go down the pub. So that'd be amazing. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> is there, is there any, uh, any of your customers or anybody uh, from your shop you'd like to do a big shout-out to? Well, I'd like to give a shout-out to my son. I know he's watching Aaron. It, and, Aaron uh, is the best, by the way. Yeah. He is awesome. And I'd like to say thank you to a lot of my regular customers that have come back uh, over the pandemic and they've uh, sort of supported me a lot, really. And it's um, a lot of people thought I'd actually shut down. And I was going down there in lockdown and was like pottering around the shop with the shutter up so they could see I was still here. Yeah. And they keep coming back. Some regular faces come back and they support me. So I'm really chuffed. It really, it really means a lot to me about that. It's, oh. uh, it's local support as well as online. I mean, I've had international sales and that, and I, I'm crossing my fingers. Is it going to get there? Like, and that, and they message me back. It's fantastic. Cheers, lot from America. Yeah, and it's great. So, it's all good. It's all good. All Brilliant. Good. And it's uh, yeah. So, uh, well done and congratulations for surviving the pandemic because it has been crazy for a lot of people. Yeah, so well. please. Go Setting it up in the pandemic as well. Oh. A lot of people thought I was around the bend. You well, I, the in, the, in the pandemic. I've known you for years and you are around the bend. You are a complete <laughs> lunatic. But it's a lunatic we love. And uh, uh, please support, guys. As I said, uh, definitely take a look at the shop. Uh, he has some amazing stuff and super, super prices. I mean, really super, super prices. Uh, great to have you on, Paul. It's been Thank a pleasure. And uh, we will see, we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, so please join the Facebook group. Uh, anything else you'd like to say just before you go, apart from check out tomorrow, Voodoo's Attic at sh my shopify.com? Yeah, that'll, that'll do. You've just said it all, mate. That'll be fantastic. That. How good is that? Along. 
Excellent, guys. So uh, we're this week on the Freak Show on Saturday. We have uh, the ladies of the wasteland on. So we've got a load of ladies on the on the show. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. That sounds uh, a lot of fun. Last week we had over fifteen hundred people watching, and we had about eight hundred messages. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just going it's going crazy. So uh, please subscribe, watch that. It's on Facebook and YouTube and all that lot. There's a bit more content on YouTube if you can. Uh, we're back here next week, next Wednesday, uh, with Andy's back. And I think we've got some guy from a one of the ball gaming companies. So we're going to try and prize out a few freebies and some gifts <laughs> to give away on the show. Paul, pleasure as always, sir. We would love to see you back in a few weeks' time. Guys, okay, this will be thank you very much. This will be shared everywhere on so if you see this guys on YouTube and Facebook or whatever, please share. Let's drum up a load of support for Voodoo Zatic. He's an absolute star. And we need people like that to survive and do well, to keep us all chirpy and somewhere for us to go and blow our cash. Because yeah. especially in COVID, you're stuck inside in the same four walls, not doing anything, can't go anywhere, can't go on holiday. So collectibles last a lifetime, guys. And as we said earlier in the show, they go up in price. So yeah. when the missus is moaning at you, oh, you've just bought that. It's Look at the price on eBay. Look, yeah. look. That's the one. It is. It is. So, cheers, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers, guys. We will see you uh, next Wednesday. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Bye.